diesel. Get your boat, man. We're going on your boat. Absolutely. I still need to get all this cleaned up. Maybe I can do this today if we're not gonna board. Get rid of all these wires and stuff. That's for my uh, dash camera up there. Uh, for some reason, Peterbilt, these new Peterbilts don't have a uh, plug-in up here like most other trucks do for the dash camera. At least I haven't found it yet if it does. So I got all around there, all the way around there, all around there, around there, and then plug in down here. So they're moving over there already. I still have all these trucks in front of me yet. And they told me last night when I was boarding that uh, I probably won't be getting on this ship. And But this ship was supposed to leave, uh, <clears throat> was supposed to leave last night but it got delayed because of weather. So I don't know if they have two ships going today because there's two ships here right now. I don't know what's going on, but uh, for those of you just tuning in, you missed yesterday's video and all the other ones before that. We're on our way to Newfoundland in Canada. It's an island off the East Coast. Uh, it's our easternmost province, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. And uh, it's an eight hour ferry ride from the mainland. So we're on our way over there haven't been here in a few years. I'm actually really excited to see if anything's changed. Uh, we do have a cabin on board so we can go to sleep uh, once we get on the ship again. Uh, we have to stay in our cabins the whole time because of the whole coronavirus going around right now. So we can't really move around the ship at all. I'm also uh, asked to wear a mask. So good thing I have one while I'm on the ship in the public areas at least. And uh, yeah, glad you're here. It's gonna be an interesting day. I'm just waking up. I gotta be ready just in case if they tell me to board. A lot of guys wanna get on here though. There's a lot. Not too many cars though. I mean, because travel's not really a thing right now, right? So everyone on the island is sort of staying on the island unless they have to leave and no one's really going to the island unless they have to go to the island, like us. So it's mostly just commercial trucks, mostly. They got the next line to our left here all boarded. Well, they got three ships here now. They're loading the ship off to the left, right over there. I just realized that now. That's the smaller one. Okay, so if we don't make it on that one, we gotta go on the fancier one, I think. I think they're gonna start on our line next. So I have to be ready to move up right away. Where's my hat? Huh? Oh, I can't board without my hat. This truck is so big, I can't keep track of where everything is. I still haven't organized anything. It's just been go, go, go ever since we got into the truck. So, I guess maybe once we gotta wait on the island, or if I gotta wait all day today, I may have some time to organize yet, but I have to go through everything up on that shelf. and. It takes me a while to fully settle in, to make, to give everything its rightful spot in the truck, right? And then I have to remember where I put the rightful spot for everything. <laughs> oh, I think they took one more from my, I might get on this ship yet. I would like it if I could. I would really like it. I don't really want to wait here all day for the next one. Which doesn't make sense because these guys on the right got here before me. Maybe they're, uh, whoa. Scared me, I thought someone was honking at me. What did I do now? Oh yeah, now they're taking these guys off to the right. This guy can't stay between the lines. I don't blame them. They make these lanes so narrow. take these flatbeds first, I think. I mean, if they're going by arrival time. They all got here before me. Made it on. We're going on to the lower deck. Diesel, you excited? We're going on a boat. Us prairie boys, look at us go. Going on the big bad ocean. 
nervous. I'm a little, I don't like water. I don't like open water. I don't like the ocean. That's why I live as far away from any ocean as possible. Everything in the ocean wants to eat me, in my mind. Got us a window cabin this time. And we got it all to ourselves, which is awesome. Look at me. Look all goofy, but that's all right. I like this mask. I think it, I think it looks better than some. <sighs> do what we gotta do, right? So now that I'm in my cabin, I can take that off. So uh, usually when I'm on the boat, I have to share it with another driver. So there'd be two of us in here. It's pretty close quarters, right? Sharing a room like this with a stranger you've never met before that most likely snores like crazy. Every time I've been on this boat and had to share a room with another driver, they've been a snorer every time. But now because of the virus, one of the good things, I guess, if they're, if you can call it that, we each get our own cabin, no sharing. Man. That makes sense, right? And I like that. First of all, I don't want to get sick myself. Second of all, this is all mine now. And we got a window. I've never had a window before. What's this? Can you open it? Oh. Does it not come back down? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wow. Would you look at that? Fancy. So it's like a little tiny small floating hotel room. Like you can fit up to four people in here. Oh. Pull these down and sort of feels like you're in third class of the Titanic, right? Pretty much. I don't know how comforting that comparison was, but we'll be okay. I'm a prairie boy. I'm from, I live in the center of the continent, far away from any oceans. Your attention please, passenger Bronson Piercy. Bronson Piercy, please come to the purser's office. Okay, Bronson Piercy, open There you are. I was wondering where that was coming from. I'm hearing voices. You heard that too, right? Anyway, so while I'm in here, uh, they gave us a lunch because they don't sell lunch anymore. So they gave me a free lunch. Want to see what they gave me? Let's see. Uh, what's this? Oh, a muffin. Very nice. Very nice. Water. Very nice. Oh, another water. Very nice. A sandwich. Oh, these are them like expensive package sandwiches too. Very nice. What's he got? Any dessert or anything in here? Oh, look, they care about my health. They gave me an apple. Very nice. Set that all up there. Nice little display. There you go. What else do I get? Napkins. No dessert. That's okay. They didn't have to do this. Usually you got to pay for your meals on board. You can go in the restaurant uh, and buy your meal. But uh, since the whole virus, I'm not allowed to leave this tiny little hole 
This, this is my little pigeonhole for the next eight hours. So uh, they give me some food so that I, I guess so that I don't emerge from my hole and start wandering around in search of food. I had brought a little bit of my own food along because I didn't know they were going to give me free food. I got some elbow macaroni salad. I'll just add this to the little pile over here. Very nice. What else do we got? Ugh, I brought some waters too, so I've got <laughs> lots of water. Add this on there. Display nice, there you go. Very nice. What else did I bring? That's all I brought. I brought my computer. Oh, oh I brought... Ugh. Fruit cups. So here you go. This will be for breakfast and lunch. And by supper, we should be on the island. Very nice. And uh, I'm gonna edit some videos and stuff while I'm here. That's why I got the computer. And also, don't worry, we have our own bathroom. I turn the light on. Oh, there's that ugly guy again. Follows me everywhere. We've got a shower, toilet, and an ugly guy in that weird reflective window over there staring at me. It's always there. Creepy, right? They need to wash their boats. So that says the Atlantic Vision. And there's another one on the other side of that. I think this one right in front of us here is the nicest one. The last time I saw it though, it didn't have all those rust stains on it. Just in case. I can even watch TV. Oh, there's a remote. For my viewing pleasure. Or not? Ah, what was that? Ah, huh, America! Oh. Was that you? Did you hear that? So, uh, if I want to, I can just have this soothing music on in the background while I get serenaded uh, with the American flag. I don't know what channel this is. Do they, do they have other channels? Oh, they do. I don't want to look at Trudeau. Nah. TLC, eh? That's oh, we're moving! Whoa! So Freak me out. Call me, uh, eccentric. Look at that. We are officially moving. We are we are floating on the water. On the ocean. That's the ocean down there. There it is. Here we are moving along. Oh boy. I think we'll be okay. We've done this voyage many times before, but every time it's like, that's a lot of water underneath me right now. Transport Canada, in light of the global pandemic related to COVID-19, the government of Canada, in cooperation with provincial, territorial, public health authorities, has put in place important measures to help spread, help limit the spread of COVID-19 in Canada. Please be advised that many provinces and territories are asking travelers, with some exceptions for essential services, to self-isolate and monitor themselves for symptoms to help limit the spread of COVID-19 in Canada. Travelers are reminded to stay informed about COVID-19 measures that apply in the region where you're traveling and obtain updates from their national, provincial, and territory health authorities. Thank you. Par attention, s'il vous plaît, prenez note. All right. Oh, look at me. 
I'm even uglier than I remember. Yes. I need a haircut so badly. I hope the barber shop's open when I get back home. Yes. Wow. I can't. I don't even have much hair to run my hands through anymore. It's getting pretty bad. Land ho! That was about the fastest crossing I think I've ever experienced. It was like five and a half hours. It was supposed to take eight. We were just giving her. So I have to wear this outside my room. Makes them feel better. I don't mind. Whatever. As long as they let me on their boat and let me deliver my stuff, that's all that matters. So I'm waiting for them to come to my room right now. I can't leave here until I'm told I can leave. It is what it is. Just gotta follow along and play along with their rules. Weasel, how was the ride? It was very lonely, man. Very lonely. I'm so glad you're back. Glad I'm back, too. Wish I could bring you up with me, bud. But Marine Atlantic does not have a very good pet policy. I would say that's a topic for another time. Uh, let's just talk for another time. Those of you who know me know how I feel about Marine Atlantic and their pet policies. I would say they borderline on animal cruelty, but we'll talk about that another day. We made it. And it was a fast crossing too, and uh, the temperature was great, so no problem at all. No problem, all right, Diesel? You felt like you were gone a million years, man. I was so excited when you came back. You were sleeping, man. You didn't, you didn't even realize me get in the truck. I was already in the driver's seat by the time you realized and like did a backflip. I was so excited to see you. Yeah. Showered me in dog kisses. He seriously acted like I was gone for a million years. You just calm down now. <laughs> Looks like we're all getting ready to leave here though. So I uh, guess I should get in the cockpit here and sit down and get ready. Packed us all in here like a can of sardines, so they gotta slowly get us all out one at a time. These guys in front of me tell me when I can go. So that guy goes next. Look at that nice tarp job. So glad I don't gotta do that anymore. <laughs> I did that for long enough. That, it was fun. Not all the time, but. I think this tanker guy's gotta go next. Oh, that tanker first. Okay, that tanker guy, and then this tanker guy, and then me, I think. Oh, wait, that car is trying to bust in front of everybody. You gotta listen to the people. They're directing who can go and who can't. I guess they're just gonna let him go. All right, so this guy and then me. I think they're gonna point at me next. go first probably <laughs> what are they doing diesel it's the west directing traffic mate very concerning very concerning it's okay diesel it's okay they're they're okay they're friends oh now I'm getting waved through I guess I should put it in gear first. There we go. Jumpy clutch. I'm gonna scare people here. <laughs> so getting used to this clutch. It's an automatic clutch, so. I don't have as much control over it already as I would like to have. But it's a little bit jumpy. All right, we're gonna get off the ship here and uh, Welcome to Newfoundland and Labrador, but it's Newfoundland. Labrador's on the mainland. For some reason, they're one province. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, of course it is. Glorious. Okay. Why are they stopping down there? I 
see all of these guys, all of these cars, they got to go through, uh, or is it all of us? We all got to go through a special screening. I thought that commercial drivers got to bypass that screening. I guess not. I don't know what's going on. I know it's raining though, and that makes me sad. Okay, this guy here, I guess he'll direct me. He wants me to go in this lane here. I'm gonna go past or? He wants me to go past. Do I go past here? Oh, right on it. Right on out? Okay. Thank you. Look at all these people. Look at me. Look at me. I'm essential. I don't gotta stop for any of this. I just go right on through. Double check, make sure nobody waves me in here. Nobody's waving me in. Because I'm essential. Never felt so important in my life. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go deliver some stuff and come back. Probably be in the lineup uh, tonight yet because I'm guessing now that we're here so early a lot earlier than I thought we would be we'll probably get unloaded today yet and then uh, be right back here waiting for the ferry maybe even boarding the ferry the same one to go back to the mainland I need a coffee though I haven't had coffee all day they didn't serve me coffee on the boat they're lucky I made it out alive they gave me free food though so that that made up for it Thank you. If you guys are watching from Marine Atlantic, thank you for the free food. I appreciate it. I still don't like your pet policy. 